Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel. Hope you're gonna have a good time with this video. Pulse Chain, Sacrifice, Airdrop, Timeline, Update, and all the secret little clues coming up. Uh, let's go. This is I'm basically gonna bring it all together and this will be a cool map uh, for you to share around uh, to your friends, etc. So uh, let's get in straight into it. Here we are so far, the journey so far for Pulse Chain uh, up to Pulse Chain launch. Of course, we are waiting for that. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go back on. We're using the hex chart because that really does reflect uh, sentiment in the marketplace. It's not just uh, uh, Pulse Chain people, which is a lot of different people uh, from different projects have come on uh, to jump on board the Pulse Chain uh, train, as it were. So uh, put the and obviously everything's getting a system state copy on Pulse Chain, so it's come over, and all the, everybody and their projects going to get their their tokens come over. So it really does broaden it way past uh, uh, the hex certificate of deposit. So here we are back on the 14th, uh, 15th of July. We've got the launch of Pulse Chain Sacrifice. Of course, we've got that at the top here. It runs through the solid line all the way through to the end, uh, 3rd of August. That is the main Pulse Chain Sacrifice period. And uh, remember, five days was uh, getting that fixed 10,000 points for $1. And of course, all the way up, we had uh, up into the last three days, we had the multiplier bonus as well. And then, of course, uh, the flat rate of 1.75 in the end there. And of course, now this dotted line here, which runs right through uh, to the present, uh, well, actually runs right through to uh, the 2nd of December. Uh, but of course, the current time frame uh, is with the price here at the moment. So we're on the, we're just sitting here on the 8th at the moment. And of course, uh, the price is currently at just around about 19 cents and so we're just this is the mercy period the mercy tale as i call it uh, so people still sacrifice and we're going to check that out in a second people still sacrificing to uh, the pulse chain sacrifice and uh, richard's uh, kindly left it open just to avoid uh, people saying hey i sacrifice where are my points i having to send uh, you know tokens back and all that sort of carry on particularly on the eth chain which is very expensive at the moment with the guay prices so uh this is the pulse chain sacrifice mercy tail that's our second phase we're currently still in that people are still sacrificing now the rate is not good i've seen one or two youtubers out there hexkins in fact saying you know keep sacrificing but i'm telling you strongly suggesting uh, obviously not investment advice that you do not sacrifice at this level it is uh, not a great rate in the scheme of things so just be careful out there folks uh, and uh, that's just the way it goes pulse train sacrifice mercy tail and of course uh, there is the dotted line we're still in that at the moment and we're currently on the 8th, which we're this far through. So it's a long time we've had that Mercy Tail. Uh, interesting stuff. So we've had some big sacrifices in there too. So pretty cool. Now, obviously, the price had a run up after the main sacrifice period. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Started, uh, what, back on the 10th. So only a couple of days. We had a bit of a sell-off. Afterwards, that was a bit of a fake, wasn't it? Uh, so after the main sacrifice period, a bit of a fake down here. Ha, 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 ha. Typical trap. And then bam, bam, bam. Up, 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 up. And of course, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's like uh, uh, all those ridges and obviously coming down from that high there, uh, selling down in here. We had a couple of big sellers, of course, a couple of hits OG selling down. And um, people have talked about those already. All right, so let's get on to the next phase, of course. Pulse Chain Testnet uh, finally launched, of course, on the 29th. We had a couple of couple of tweets from Richard in between this period, of course. Um, but uh, maybe two or three, four updates, uh, just minor stuff talking about the testnet coming up and then finally on the 29th of september 21 we had the testnet 1.0 go in place it block forked uh ethereum 13 a million two hundred twenty four seven four five uh had some power issues that so had to power it up uh it of course had a faucet with it and uh didn't have um obviously the distribution uh for points and it didn't have um uh, what else didn't have? It probably, something else it didn't have as well. What? Oh, staking validators. It didn't have that that playing out at the time. So uh, to be able to stake. So uh, then obviously we had uh, this is the sod line. This has been running all the way through from uh, the 29th September all the way and uh, went right up obviously until today. So uh, uh, I know the last couple of days have been a bit funny on there. Uh, but still up and running technically, I guess. I haven't uh, checked that, though, as I said in my earlier video. Uh, but I did notice that uh, had some uh, uh, interesting updates and changes around there. But anyway, uh, on back on the 3rd, uh, we got a, a tweet, of course. And it said, uh, I've got a spelling error there. Let, uh, let's uh, fix that up. 
uh, we don't want to have too much uh, you know mistakes on things do we right so there we are so this week or next week uh, so that was on back on the uh, third uh, this week or next week the, with the following updates so uh, uh, pulse chain testnet 2.0 uh, and it's going to have improved validator rotation. Uh, it's going to have a branded block scout, block explorer. In other words, we just used a generic one before with the generic name. It's going to have obviously pulse chain branded, like Ethereum branded block blockchain explorer. So pretty cool. And of course, third initial distribution. So very exciting. Obviously, with the pulse chain points, with the sacrifice and the mercy tail, uh, we've got the initial distributions. Whatever you see here is totally not real, uh, just testing. But of course, uh, the uh, Bretep, the uh, blocks chain, uh, the the lead pulse chain dev uh, said that they were at, will actually be actual data, but just not finalized data. Uh, so you're not to over rely on them. That's basically what Richard was trying to say here. Uh, not real, just testing, but basically there will be actual data, but not final data. In other words, not reconciled and uh, not including possibly missing a few things uh, from you know so many chains and stuff like that. So uh, that must be quite a feat to to reconcile all that, to be honest, in, in some degree. All right, I guess the ETH chain is probably relatively simple, but all the other ones adding them all up. All right, so uh, that's that was back on the third. Can you believe it? Third, third, third. Then we got this little teaser here, uh, and this caused quite a stir on the 5th of November, and we got another tweet from Richard uh, and Redhead. For the longest time, people have been asking me my birth time. Here it is, October the 9th, 979 at 11, 18 p.m. I don't know the seconds. So the interesting thing about this, of course, Hexologist, who's uh, very well known in the uh, Hexagon community, uh, pointed out that, uh, you know, Richard's done a few of these before, uh, I can't recall one offhand, but I know I'm pretty sure he did one way, one or two way back in the past where he's given little clues, random clues, because first of all, he's got birth time, uh, which is kind of instead of birth date, uh, it's a birth time. And uh, then he sort of just pulled this. Uh, people have asked him about it over time, but he sort of just pulled this out of nowhere. The longest time people have been asking me. Uh, this was after the Pulse Chain uh, 2 uh, testnet announcement, right? So this is after that. And so you got the third, fourth, fifth. So it's only two days, within two days. And then he pa passed this out. So does it have some meaning? Interesting. Here it is, October the 9th, 979. Of course, uh, Hexologist interpreted this as 11th, 18 p.m. Uh, so it was at the 18th of November uh, and PM being Pulse Chain Mainnet. Uh, I don't know the second. So it was interesting. I don't think that that's actually the launch. Obviously, we've got the Pulse Chain testnet. It was going to be in the next week or two. Now, it wasn't last week when we announced it on when it was announced on the 3rd. So is it this week? So is it this week? And I think it will be. Uh, we should expect it sometime in this week uh, coming up. Obviously, it's Monday now. It's so a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so somewhere between the 12th and uh, should probably get set up here and then run. For how long? I don't know. So I would expect it to be relatively short. Uh, is it going to be uh, a week, uh, nine days, something like that? Uh, so interesting stuff. And of course, uh, the 18th of November, if this is if this is actually a teaser, uh, would be uh, here. But it's obviously a good chance that it won't be um, launched at that time, but it might get announced at that time. And so that's an interesting uh, rumor, as it were, speculation, uh, just based on this. Of course, this might just be nothing, but it does appear to be something. That's why, why would you write birth time? It's just a bit weird at the writing and uh, typical in, in Richard's humor uh, and uh, teasing there. That, that might be something more than just uh, a post. But, hey, we don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, we're just speculating. That's what you do when you don't have full information. You start speculating on things. And, of course, uh, you can go with that. So interesting one, Hexologist, hats off. And, of course, uh, here is the 2nd of December. We've got this Hex second birthday gathering, the 30, uh, 731 gathering. I've done at least one or two videos on that. That's coming up on the 2nd. So uh, even if this uh, date here of the 18th of November doesn't come to anything for Pulse Chain Mainnet, uh, at least the announcement then uh, if we've had this test net running, uh, let's say it only it could run just a week uh, because the, the developer, uh, Britev, uh, let, let us know a couple of days ago that uh, that he th thought it could launch yesterday. You know, it's, it's, so, it's going so well. He's so excited he can't sleep. Um, there's 295, uh, was it 395 nodes and uh, other nodes sinking at the well. And he said there's so many developers, hundreds and hundreds of developers building on it and interacting with the with the uh, with the pulse chain test net and stuff like that doing code and so very exciting stuff there so you know that it's that, that make brings the expectation that sooner than later this tweet here kind of bring, uh, sooner or later uh, the this tweet here of course back on the third that pulse chain would be sooner than later and of course you've got this timeline here so that looks pretty cool and then of course the second birthday sim 31 gathering wouldn't it be perfect to announce 
uh, the launch, of course. And then, because Richard did say he's going to give us a short amount of time, uh, you know, uh, about to, to, before Pulse Train actually launches. So uh, that would be huge. So either we're going to get a here on the 18th, he might just front run the, the birthday and then have the birthday and a few other announcements there, uh, or he could just uh, uh, let that fly past. And this is just a, a just a random weird tweet, which is kind of weird but amusing at best. And then, of course, uh, you could go to here. Now, Richard has does have a Wikipedia page thing that you can check him all, all his deets out about his, uh, you know, his uh, real name and all sorts of stuff in there. But uh, this is the date, the 2nd of, Dece of, of December. Actually, looking more likely to me. Now, as you know, I've been uh, uh, estimating uh, the middle of December to late December as the Pulse Chain launch. And I feel, uh, just given the little uh, teasers that we've got here, that that's probably still in play. Now, some people have talked about January, February, March, even May uh, for the launch. But given what the Pulse, the lead dev said, uh, I just think, and given that this is the timing of this birthday and that Richard's actually going to be in attendance, I don't know, it just seems like uh, they could get the Pulse Chestnut 2 point out of the way and they don't really, uh, the, the, the dev said doesn't really think that they'll need a, a 3, a 3.0. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Now on here, of course, we could just get the... Uh, we could get uh, some sort of final points announced as well about the, what the actual distribution is. Because as we know on here, we've got the initial distributions here. Uh, so we could get some sort of final distributions uh, out around this birthday as well. So I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. A lot of the staking candles, of course, will be out of the way. We've only got uh, uh, one on the 2nd of December. And we've got one on about the 15th and one on the of the 2nd or 1st of, of January. Remember, those are the last three big candles. Uh, and they're, you know, about four to 500 million. Uh, so that's uh, coming out over that month. Uh, and, of course, hopefully a lot of them restake and get T-shares and do all the good stuff there. Uh, some of them will just restake short term. That's cool as long as they just keep doing that over and over. Uh, so that they'll get wind down by the share rate, right? So that's just going to have a big impact. So I think this is a pretty good summary. This is basically so far where Pulse Chain is at. Uh, and I've uh, gone through and, and just... Uh, checked all that so uh let me know in the comments uh anything else that you've heard that helps the community and that's what it's all about right just getting the information having clean information out there and uh and then playing and play with playing around with some of these possible speculations here uh very cool so hopefully that helps you out there uh once again um uh, it will be interesting be interesting to see where this all ends up and the time frame and uh, I hope, certainly hope it's earlier than later. I think we're all sick of the uh, gas fees. I had a friend yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, uh, had to get out a steak and uh, at, uh, they were trying to time the guay between 1 and 3 a.m. as I said in my other gas video about trying to get log gas prices and I think they got about 70 guay cost them about $285 but then you always need about a new hundred dollars above that right because of the London fork it's just made fees so much more difficult you need to have like that buffer for maximum fee so uh, a lot of people will be happy to get off or at least not get off but uh, be able to have pulse chain so they can you know do virtually uh, costless transactions can be pretty fun well hopefully that was pretty cool on the pulse chain sacrifice pulse chain airdrop of course we're going to get mad airdrop of every token on Ethereum. The first system state copy is going to be epic. And what else has we got? We got obviously the timeline, Pulse Chain timeline update. There's a great, uh, I don't know if anyone else has done the chart like this, but this is pretty cool. It all puts everything in, in context. And it gets put in the momentum of Hex as well with the price chart as well. So uh, pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So feel free to subscribe, like, and definitely share this video around. And uh, hit the bell, of course, for future videos. I do at least one or two a day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Onwards and upwards. Bye for now.